I just had to have somewhat of a serious, stern talk with some of my employees and say, listen, man, if you don't have common sense, you ain't getting nowhere. We live in a world people got college degrees, pieces of paper, they can't even get a job. And it's a sad, I'm not saying this, you know, I'm a college dropout, I'm not saying it to make fun of anybody, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, you know what's at a premium right now? Do you know what will guarantee you work, whether as an entrepreneur on your own or working for somebody else in a great job? The ability to see the big picture, have common sense, take action, be able to give insight to people and not just be a robot. If you're, robo if you're robotic, which most of the world is, meaning, yeah, they can work at fast food because the machine says, put this in, put this french fries in, pull it out, hand it to somebody, press this button on the cashier. No cognition needed. No thought needed. Guess how much money you're going to make doing that? You can make minimum wage. And again, not making fun of people who work in that environment. I'm just giving you the way that the economy and life has worked, will work. And if you go back in any period of time, has always been the norm. People who have no creativity, people who can't grasp the big picture and say, ah, I see what you're trying to do there. I see what you're trying to do there. And can just take orders. There's not much of a future for you. There's not. And so if you're that way, let me give you a few ways that pop out of it. One is to just understand common sense isn't common. A lot of us think, oh, common sense is common, so we have it. No, common sense is an acquired skill, just like if you want to learn Spanish or Mandarin Chinese, you will have to acquire that skill through study, through repetition, through listening to other people teaching you, finding a coach, a mentor, a teacher. So that's number one. Just being aware that you need it because growing up I thought I had common sense till I went to work for my first mentor Joel Salatin and he was like look man you don't know jack about life you don't understand anything I thought I did I thought I had gone through high school I was a smart student but you know in terms of putting together the big picture I struggled and, and that comes to number two the reason that people struggle is because you have to have the ability to zone in and out. Zone in and out. Here's what I mean by that. I was walking uh, through the farm when I was 19 years old with Joel Salatin, my first mentor, and, and I had read a book because I was, you know, I was from the city. Here I am in the countryside, like in Virginia. I was born in LA, then I'm in this country. You know, it's it's the classic like movie. I didn't want to be this idiotic kid, so I had read some books on plants and how to identify different trees and plants and grass. I thought that would give me insight. So I'm walking through the field and I'm trying to look down at the grass and pay attention to the trees and the bushes and kind of go, okay, that's, you know, that's mullein and that's crabgrass and that's orchard grass. And I was thinking, oh, I'm going to impress Joel Souths. And we'll, but the whole time while I'm looking down, I didn't notice, it, notice a gate was open and the cows we're supposed to be in one field. We're running through the other one. And Joel said, hey, we got to go, you know. And so we ran over there and fixed it. And he said, Ty, I want you to know something. There's a time to stop and smell the roses. And the time wasn't now. What he meant was, Ty, you were zoned in so much on the details of trying to identify plants, which in certain, certain times would be fine to do. There's a time for that. But he said, you forgot to zone out and look at the big picture that who cares right now if you can identify crabgrass and orchard grass, there's cows running out in the road gonna kill somebody or kill themselves. So to have that ability, this is what common sense is. To know when you should be zoomed in, which is like when you're off on your own, doing nothing, that's when you zone in on your computer or you listen to music. But there's a time to zone back out and see big pictures. See what the heck's going on when you have a job. Try to figure out what your employer is trying to accomplish. The big picture goal. So they don't have to tell you every robotic step along the way. You see? I'll give you an example. Somebody's hungry. Let's just say I, you know, one of my jobs I had one time was like being a personal assistant or something to somebody. And let's say they say, I'm hungry, Ty. Can you go to, you know, uh, McDonald's and get me some food? So I go to McDonald's. Let's say that McDonald's was closed. Somebody with no common sense. Let me not use McDonald's because I don't like that example. Uh, somebody says, you know, let me go to go to Bob's restaurant. 
So I go down, Bob's restaurant's closed for renovation. So now somebody who has no common sense will drive back to their boss that they're assisting and say, and you know, they walk in and the boss says, okay, you got my food? And he says, no, Bob's was closed. He said, well, did you get me another food? No, you said to just go to Bob's. That's an example of so zoned in on the exact instructions that people have that you don't see the big picture. So you, instead of improvising and say, oh, this place is closed. I know you want to get a turkey sandwich. I'm going to walk across the street and get a turkey sandwich from another place. When I show up, I'll be like, hey, I know you want me to get it from Bob, but it was closed, so I got you this turkey sandwich here. Boom. And you know what? Nine times out of ten, you work for somebody you're going to go, ah, oh, thank you. That made a lot of sense. Now, I know this sounds like common sense. It ain't common. Trust me. <laughs> I got a lot of people who have hired, work for me. Uh, yeah, I've been in this game entrepreneur a long time. I know how the workplace is like. And by the way, if you have this common sense and you want to be an entrepreneur, you're going to have to instill these values or know how to find them in people that you hire. Now, on the flip side of this, you got to know how to zone in. And there's some people that are so zoned out sometimes with me. And I'll say to them, let's say I'm that boss. And I say, go to Bob's and get me a turkey sandwich. I took the time out. I'm smart. I, speak, I spoke the specific words I wanted like, yo, I want a turkey sandwich. Now, if they drive there, get to Bob's and come back with a, you know, chicken sandwich. And I'm like, what's up? And they go, well, I knew you were hungry and you wanted some food. So I, they were zoned out on the big picture that I was supposed to accomplish for them. But guess what? They forgot to zone in on the specific details. So that's number three. You got to be able to zone in. So number two is you got to be able to zone out. Number three is you got to be able to zone in. And that sounds contradictory. It's not. There's a time and place for everything. Like the proverb says, there's a time for war. There's a time for peace. There's a time for minute detail focus. And there's a time for big picture focus. And that is common sense. Back in the olden days, they used to call that wisdom. Um, you got to acquire that. And once you have that, I promise you, you'll always be able to make money. Always. Shit, I'll hire you. <laughs> and people go, well, won't you hire, you know, once you reach a certain point, you won't be able to hire any more people? No. Infinite amount of people I could employ who had that mindset. The problem is it's one in a million, or I'd say one in 10,000. So cultivate that skill, just like you would learning another language. It's not common. We should change it. It should be called uncommon sense. Uncommon sense. Anyway, do you think you have it? One to ten. How much common sense do you have? How much ability to zone in and out do you have at the proper time? Leave a comment. I want to hear. So see how, how, uh, how the demographics break out here.